Look at that beautiful sky behind us. Good morning, modern steaders. It's all pink. It is. Good morning. I got my thick hat on this morning. Single digits. It was three degrees when I woke up, and now it's six degrees out. A little chilly. <laughs> Uh, I groomed the trails last night, so hopefully they froze up a little bit overnight. Now it'll be easier walking to the chicken coop and the chickens have a nice little spot to walk on. Figaro is smart. He stayed inside this morning. Yeah, he has been staying inside a lot. You know it's cold when Figaro doesn't come out in the morning to do chores with us. We're going to be going up to the off-road property today and start framing up some of the walls for our shipping container cabin. Good morning, ladies. You ready for breakfast? There you go. Ladies ready? I know, I know. You want some of your sunflower seed? There you go. You gotta spread it out a little bit. There's the rest of them. You like really ate that Christmas tree down to nothing. Look at that poor thing. I got the load of two by fours. So I'll meet you up at the off grid property. See you in a minute. Well, it's warmed up a little bit. It's seven degrees here. They didn't fall out. It's a little chilly out here. I'm glad we'll be building the walls outside and then bringing them in. So we're going to start working on, boy that lighting is terrible. We're going to start working on this long back wall. It doesn't have any windows. We'll start framing that up. I didn't bring up my air compressor and generator today. But here we'll try to see what we can do with our power tools and screw gun. If it takes too long, tomorrow we'll bring up our air compressor and that way we can use our framing nail gun. Finally got some new saw hosses. These were sent up by our viewer. Everybody gets sick of watching me use my old saw hosses. So, well, we got these fancy ones. Let's set these up over there. Look at that. They're nice because you can collapse them. Collapse them, and you can put some two by fours here and put a piece of plywood on it and make a table if you need to. layout for the top plate and the bottom plate so we need to build a 20 foot wall we're going to build it in two 10 foot sections and then we'll put it together in there so that way we're not trying to put up a 20 foot wall just ourselves 
I'm gonna make two 10 foot sections is the plan. We're going with two by four construction so that way we can put some good insulation in here and we're going 16 inches on center because the insulation I want to use the only width I can find of it in stock is 16 inch wide if I could find two foot on center insulation I'd do that but I'd have to custom order it or I'd have to special order it right now it would take forever to get here and nowadays you don't even know when they say it comes in if it's really gonna come in there. exactly Good there. Yeah. Then this will put us on layout. Get that mark mark, and then you can move over the end of it. What? Okay, go back to these ones. I've never bought store bought lumber and had it longer than it should be, and they are. What? Okay, go over here. I don't know if you guys ever had this happen. I never have. This is gum dried, bought from the lumber yard. It's supposed to be 10 foot long, and it's 10 and 3 quarters. Or it's 10 feet and 3 quarters of an inch long. They're all that way, so that means we gotta go around and cut these all to length, which is kind of a bummer, but... for now and we will work on building the top one actually you know what we need to do first let's count we need one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen of them we need to cut them all down to let's see nine feet minus three inches that's what we need to cut them all down to we got all ten footers so we have a high cube shipping container here. It's nine and a half feet tall. I'm gonna drop the ceiling six inches. These are three and a half. So you're gonna have two and a half left over that we're gonna be dropping it. And that way we can get our two bys from up above in place. And then we can have more room for insulation if we wanna insulate it more than a two by four thickness. So that'll work perfect. With those gloves on, you know what it makes me think of? Like a Muffet? No, the bowling movie was somebody and they had, or it was an Adam Sandler's movie and they had the wooden hand. No. That's what I, I like remember. Our... It's the Happy Gilmore movie. That's what it was. And the guy had the wooden hand. That's what, I, that's what it reminds me of. I don't know why.
you are wondering, it still hasn't warmed up any. It's still mighty frigid. Now we get to see if we can get it in there. How do you want it? Yeah, that's time we're gonna have to. All right, that's my bad. I should have done some measuring before we started cutting. The high cube is nine and a half feet high, so in my head I just assumed the inside measurement is nine feet, nine and a half feet high. I should have measured outside the measurements. Outside dimension is nine and a half feet. That makes total sense. So the inside's a little bit shorter, so all the two bys we just cut, we gotta recut them and then get the wall in there. So measure the inside of your cube before you just start using numbers in your head. All right, we're gonna take this out and put it on the strip. Go that way. You just give it there. Not a huge setback, but it's one of those that kind of annoys you because you know better. You know you're supposed to measure and check, but sometimes I just get ready to st I just get ready to start working and I forget to double check everything. So lesson learned. On the bright side, our screws are all done.
but now I'm just gonna stick a couple of screws in the floor just to hold it in place for us when we get the other wall built. Oh, that sun sure does feel good. It's warming it up a little bit. Yeah, I feel like it's warmer. All right, I'm gonna recut these eight two by fours. I'll get these cut and then I'll be right back. That worked real slick, building on top of the trailer like that. Who knew your trailer could double as your work table for you? Yeah. It beats playing in the snow. Up and in. All right, let me clean any snow off. Like that, just like that. Yeah, that'll work perfectly. The nice place about the container is we got storage while we're building. You ladies sure are liking that goat stop this winter, aren't you? I'm like, what are you doing, dude? Gonna make some taco soup tonight. I don't think I've ever made taco soup before. I said to Olivia today, I said, what do you want for supper? And a lot of times I get, I don't know, or nothing. Not nothing, but she doesn't say anything. And she said taco soup. And I said, you want taco soup? Okay. So I had some leftover um, burger in the fridge. I don't know if I have quite as much as I would like to have. So maybe I'll throw in some chicken. Maybe that would be weird. I don't know. But she had also mentioned loaded nachos at the beginning of the week. So I feel like taco soup would be more filling than loaded nachos. I'm just gonna cut part of my onion. I'm gonna get one more onion. All right, so I'm just gonna saute these onions and then I will start add some garlic, get my burger going. Auto will go in here. That's 
some beef. Get the seasoning because that would just ruin the whole thing because taco soup needs to have taco seasoning. Just trying to sound a little, add a little bit of salt to this. And a little bit of paprika. We could use smoked paprika. We don't care for smoke, so we won't do that. These are fire roasted, so it'll give them some flavor as well. Fiber off in here. I don't have much left, so I'm just gonna pour it right from the jar. Half a bag left from another recipe, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. Dear Lord, it's a wonderful day. Well, the taco soup was delicious and it feels so good to start having some of the interior walls studded. We're so looking forward to having this all done. It's going to take a while, but it's going to be nice to have a little retreat to go to, to the off-grid property. They're just a getaway and when we stop building over there we'll have a little place to go and get inside have lunch take a weekend trip whatever we'd like if you have any ideas of things we should add to the shipping container off-grid cabin leave it in the comments down below thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey if you like the video give it a thumbs up it really helps while you're down there if you're not already subscribed hit the subscribe button turn on notifications and we'll see you right back here next time at lumna acres